Welcome everybody to Live Fully. I am Joanna Vargas, creator of the Fit Factor Studio in beautiful downtown Alhambra. And today I have Julie Tanaka. She is our December 2019 client of the month and I'm gonna be interviewing her and we're gonna go right away into some quick questions so that everybody gets to know you a little bit better. You ready, girl? Yes. All right, Julie, where'd you grow up? I grew up in Monterey Park, so just like five minutes from here. Okay, so if you're not from this area, Monterey Park is kind of by Pasadena mm -hmm. in Southern California, Yeah. right? Okay, great. But I went to high school in Alhambra in the city. You went to Alhambra? Yeah. Oh, go Morse. <laughs> okay, and what were you like as a young girl? Um, probably awkward. I remember these pictures of myself in fifth grade with these like really big plastic pink glasses. Um, now that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, not back then not though. Back then. Okay. <laughs> so I think I was just, you know, like a normal kid trying to have fun and play and find your way. Find my way, fit in, okay. awkward, nerdy uh -huh. a little bit probably, you know. Uh huh. How long have you been working out now? So I started Fit Factor maybe with a year and a half or two years ago or so. Was that the first of your journey of fitness? You know, I had uh, been dancing since oh. maybe college or so. What kind of dancing? I did modern dance. I started what? out in modern. But I was... Okay. <laughs> I, I fell Martha in, Graham? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Martha okay. Graham, Martin, all of that. Oh, I fell in love okay. with it and I loved it. I, I um, okay. did it every day for probably like four years. But then... I didn't, I took like this long break because I moved overseas and they didn't really have any modern dance around. <laughs> so I started doing ballet because that was mostly oh. what was around. And oh, I did wow. it, um, I did it pretty regularly, regularly, but then I, life got busy and so I sort of stopped and I just mm. started taking less and less. And then, yeah, with work and kids and everything, I mm. stopped. So I, I, when I joined Fit Factor, I had been, I had taken a long break to, mm. from fitness, from dance and everything. So. Yeah. Mm. Isn't that interesting, Julie, how one day can turn into like, where did four years go? Yeah. So is that what happened? Kind of yeah. Thing? And I think the thing is, um, I go, I had three kids and oh, during my, kids. <laughs> <laughs> like three, for three of my labors, I had bad morning sickness and then two of the, I mean, I'm sorry, three of the pregnancies I had bad morning sickness and two uh -huh. of the, two of them, I had chronic pain throughout. Wow. And then like, and then, so yeah, it was just it was really tough. hard. Yeah. to even walk like for like yeah. there, for a lot of those pregnancies you know and so i think that also just affected my my motivation to mm. to get back into it even after mm -hmm. i the babies and sleep deprivation all of that how old are they now the kids they're two uh three five and seven and then when you come to train because a lot of our moms will say you know who's gonna watch the kids so yeah. is that dad time or who's that well, they're in school now, Ooh, okay. um, so one in preschool and two in elementary, which makes it easier. Easier, yeah. Got it. Okay, so you wouldn't come when they're in class. Mm -hmm. Great. Now, Julie, with your fitness journey now, what is the biggest thing, your takeaway? What have you learned? Um, I think I didn't, in the beginning, I would say I didn't know if I had it in me because I wouldn't have, I, I, I'm not an athletic person. I don't think I... I just always felt like I was gonna die at the end of every class in the beginning. So I think that helped us. As we all. Yeah. It does, for everybody, we all go through it, okay? And then you just hit a new level. The other day, sorry to cut you off, but let me jump in. One of our girls said, does this ever go away? Like, what's the trick so that I don't wanna vomit? I'm yes. like, there's no trick. Yeah. And she didn't like that answer. Okay, keep going. <laughs> So I think like, you know, learning that I do have what it takes to actually like make it through a class and progress and build muscle tone and, you know, like get healthy and not feel tired all the time. Oh. That, you know, helps mm. me to like press forward in other goals too. You know, when it gets hard and, and you're like trying to like go get over that hump. Yeah. And so, yeah. And like, oh, see, I got this. I could do this. This yeah. is in me. That is great. Okay. Last question is, if you can go back to the younger Julie, yeah. what advice would you give her and how old is she? What would you tell that girl? You know, I think when I was probably like in the adolescent years and you go through hard times, it feels like like whatever's happening is gonna last forever. <laughs> and the so, end of the, you're yeah. the only one on this planet yeah. that feels and that And this is like the, the, the state of things for the, for the entire rest of your life. <laughs> so I think I'd probably just say, you know, it's, you know, this too shall pass. This is only a season. It's not gonna last forever. You know, stay strong. And I think I, I really like hold on to my faith to get through the, the, mm. the uh, situations that feel impossible and just to like cling to God because he can shift things that feel like impossible to move. So I think I would just 
tell that to my maybe 13, 14 year old self? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Young Julie, girl, <laughs> this too shall pass. Yeah. You are going to break through in a breakdown. Yeah. Okay. 911, somebody's <laughs> calling something. <laughs> Julie, is there anything else that you want to let everybody know at home? Anything else um, you want to say? <clears throat> We're waving to the firemen. <laughs> okay. I mean, I think it's, it's definitely a worthwhile journey to get healthy, you know, however people choose to do it. Very, like, little steps at a time. Like, I, I you know, whether it's like one walk a week. You know, start simple. I think one sometimes, block. yeah, Two one block. block. Sometimes okay. I, I tend to set big goals that discourage me because I like can't actually achieve them in the beginning. So start small, and I mm. think like our health really matters, especially mm. as we get older. You know, like the aches and pains get more, and mm. this kind of stuff is like, you know, yeah, very important to our well-being. Yeah, I'm gonna join in on that and say the compound effect. It's a little bit at a time, and it adds up. Or we said the one day all of a sudden turns into four days. Or if you just did one block, two blocks, and it will add up because one day we're going to be 50, 60, 70, 80 years old, and we don't want to look back and it's too late, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I had a pleasure getting to know Julie Tanaka and that she was a modern dancer that is amazing and did ballet. That is so cool. And uh, thank you so much for watching. This is the Fit Factor Studio. You can visit us at the Fit Factor Studio. Dot com, also on Instagram and on Facebook, The Fit Factor Studio. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to live fully. Bye. Thanks, Julie. Bye. Bye.